Hey guys, Hobbs here, bringing you the Bruiser Mech. It's a B-Class Mech, or another medium mech, and... Yeah, I'm gonna be showing you how to play this suppression mech. And yes, it's a suppression mech, so it functions a little bit differently. Also, pause here for the mech stats, like always. But I'm gonna use the Assault as a template, so if you haven't already checked out my Assault video, I suggest you go check that out, so I can kind of save time and don't have to cover all too much of, like, the really basic stuff. I can just tell you more of where the Bruiser kind of differs from the actual Assault and give you much more mech-specific advice, so I can kind of save time that way. Anyways, we're gonna get started in a little bit, so yeah, let's get moving. Okay, so the weapons that come standard on the Bruiser are, well, the first one is the Point D Vulcan as its primary, and then the Hellfire Rockets as the secondary weapon, and the ability is called Damage Absorb, and I'm gonna go over each of those things in detail, just... But for now, I'm going to talk just how the Bruiser kind of differs in the, from the Assault. Now, they actually have kind of similar stats. It's not completely similar. I mean, obviously the ability and the secondary weapon are very different. And so, uh, as far as the stats are concerned, uh, the Bruiser has 10 less armor than the Assault does. And it's actually a little bit slower than the Assault on the ground. However, it does have better aerodynamics. So while flying, it actually will perform a little bit better and has a bit more speed. So, the Bruiser is a mech that you can kind of fly with, but like I said in most of my videos, don't linger in the air for very long. It's just, if you need to fly, the Bruiser will be able to handle handle uh, flying a lot more, a lot better than most other mechs. It won't, you won't experience a big drop in speed like uh, most other mechs would. Now, as for the way you actually want to pilot this mech, it's not very much of an assaulter. Uh, if anything, I'd say it's a bit more defensive. I mean, in the name, it's a suppression mech, and the suppression mech family. And what it's great for is making people duck. I mean, that's what the Hellfires are. So what the Hellfires do is that uh, you can lock on to uh, an enemy by hitting middle mouse, and just so you know, they will be warned that they are locked on, and they will have an incoming signal uh, that Hellfire missiles are locked on, and they're hu uh, they're hunting them. And so, and that's also, if you ever see that on your own screen, that's what it's saying. It's got, you got, you're locked on by Hellfires, or you have Hellfires incoming, so. If anything, it's really good for getting people to duck behind cover, or if they're standing somewhere and you don't want them to stand there, you can just say, nope, get off. <laughs> and then that's what the Hellfires are great for. I mean, if you get kills, it's, don't really think it's too much about skill, it's more like that person was just stupid enough to stand there. So... But yeah, don't expect, don't always expect to get kills with Hellfires. I mean, when you do, it's like, eh, okay, great. But still, the Hellfires is not much of a killing machine that you should uh, depend on. It's much more of a suppression thing. And actually, the combination of the pointy Vulcan and the Hellfires actually is a bit awkward because the optimum range for the pointy Vulcan is actually, like I said, it's like point blank. But the optimum range for the Hellfire rockets is like mid to long range. So. It plays a little funky uh, when you initially get the bru uh, get the bruiser. Oh, and just so you know, the bruiser's optimum range, no matter what weapon you have, is definitely medium range. And so, uh, like at medium range, like the pointy Vulcan might kind of fall short a little bit, but then you're able to lock on with your Hellfires. But up close, you're gonna have a hard time locking on because they're not gonna track their target as well. As you can see me here, I'm keeping my distance a bit from all my targets, even though I'm using the Vulcan. The Vulcan's like, I'd almost say the Vulcan is kind of a backup. And so, like, in case somebody gets a little bit too close, you can still decently output damage. But once somebody does get really up close, that's when you want to use the Hellfires. As you don't want to lock on as much. You want, that's when you want to avoid locking on. And then just use the uh, Hellfire Miss Rockets as, like, a rocket shotgun. And then, you know, that's kind of how I do it. And I'm also going to talk a little bit more on the Hellfires in a little bit. But uh, the clips are going to change out soon, so... Okay, so the weapon combination is a little bit funky and it'll take some time to get used to, but once you do, you'll find you can uh, suppress the enemy pretty, pretty well. Because, I mean, no one's going to walk straight into a Vulcan, and then if they see Hellfires, they're probably going to duck. So, it's very a good deterrent on the battlefield for people. It's like, you know, if you don't want them to walk towards you, easy. You just got to fire up your Vulcan and start locking on them with Hellfires, and most people with any sense will start ducking. But anyways, here's the alternate weapon that's unlocked at rank 3, it's the submachine cannon, of course it's a weapon that you all recognize, and my personal, well it's one of my fit. it's probably one of my second favorite on the Bruiser, because I like it because you get the close range functionality of the pointy Vulcan, but it also has somewhat mid range capability, but you know, but the main thing is it's like a Vulcan except, uh, 
it doesn't output damage as fast. However, uh, it does not heat up nearly as fast as the pointy Vulcan. And on your Bruiser, that's going to be your biggest enemy, which is your heat. Uh, because the overheat, you're going to be down for, I think, maybe five seconds. And so, yeah, on the Bruiser, it's not fun. And especially if it's up close, which... <laughs> If you're in Bruiser, you probably should have tried to avoid, like, see here. I'm still keeping my distance, even though I'm using the SMC. And, uh, but yeah, the thing I like the SMC a little bit more is because it gives you some close-range capability in case somebody gets up a little bit close into your face. But, you know, you, it still has a little bit of punch for mid-range. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of why I like to use the SMC. And, of course, it's the heat efficiency as well that I like about it. Instead of, like, with the Vulcan, it's like... It's not going to be able to hit as hard at mid range, and you're generating a lot of heat, kind of for kind of in vain. So that's why I prefer the SMC over the Vulcan on the Bruiser. And of course, uh, you know it's pretty much the same as how you would use it on any other Mac, like the Assault. So the SMC is really simple, so I don't really need to explain in detail how to use it. But uh, as far as this clip is concerned, well, I can go into the ability a little bit. Now the ability was called Damage Absorb. So what it does is like for a little less than two seconds, you get about no, you you get 65% damage reduction, so any incoming damage would only be 35% of normal. You get that for about, uh, like I said, a little less than two seconds, and so you would think that, eh, that's not very useful. Actually, it, I find it, it's, if you've ever played fighting games, like Super Smash Brothers or uh, Mortal Kombat or anything like that, I'd use it, if it's, it's like a parry or a block, kind of. It's just like a quick defensive maneuver to, like, nullify a lot of damage. And then count, and then be able to counter strike uh, uh, your foe. And so, a lot of the times, I'll use it as like in case, like if I know I'm gonna take a hit, like I'm way out in the open, and I see hell hellfires incoming, and there's no cover nearby, I'll usually pop the ability before the hellfires hit me, so I won't take nearly as much damage as if I didn't have that ability open. Or if I round a corner and I see an enemy, and they're all, and then I can tell that they're probably gonna shoot me, I'll usually just pop my ability before I try to, you know, move away and. You can see me using it right there. I kind of had a feeling that that, that uh, AI was going to probably shoot a grenade at me, so I, uh, out of caution, I used the, my ability. And the ability cooldown isn't too bad. It's only uh, 16 seconds, so that, I mean, even though it only lasts like you know maybe a second and a half, I'd still say you know it, it's 16 seconds of a cooldown, so you can actually use it quite a bit. And like here, uh, in case like uh, those times where I do want to push in. A position and try to get a kill. I can pop the ability so I don't take too much damage from one of the teammates. I can try to quickly get in, do my damage, and then pull out as soon as the ability starts to end. Also, other functionalities that I've found while using the ability is uh, if I need to dash between spots of cover and there's a, like, a lot of fire going on, like my the enemy team is like they have a grenadier or a rocketeer or something and they're laying down suppressive fire, I can actually push through that suppressive fire and I can activate the ability dash through. And while I have that ability active, so while I'm out in the open, I'm not going to take too much damage from all that fire, and then I can get behind another piece of cover before, you know, before my ability ends, and I won't, and I'll be able to switch positions without having to take a lot of damage, and then maybe one of the enemy light mechs coming to finish me off. So I can help my team push forward in that regard. So I can push up a little bit and then try to suppress the enemy from there inside of my room, but, yeah. <laughs> and looks like I kicked the bucket right there, but anyways, we're going to move on to the next weapon. And so this is the assault rifle, which is the rank five prestige weapon. Now this is my personal favorite on the Bruiser, and let me tell you why. Now I had mentioned before that the Bruiser, no matter what weapon you use, is a mid-range monster, and the assault rifle only helps it be that, be that mid-range monster because the assault rifle is meant to punch, be able to punch a lot harder than the, the SMC or the Vulcan at a longer range. So. It gives you that you know, the sweet spot of mid-range with the Bruiser, it makes it much more powerful. However, it's just like on the Assault Mech, if you choose the Assault Rifle, you're going to be a little bit lacking as far as uh, close-up combat is concerned. So if somebody gets up close to you, you're probably not going to be able to handle them as well as if you had the Vulcan or the SMC on you. But, you know, considering, like, comparing the Assault, if you had a tow Rocket instead of the Hellfires, then, like, in close combat would be a lot more, uh... Uh, you could actually go into close combat a lot more if you have a tow rocket because the Hellfires are not made for some close combat. It's made for much more mid-range suppression slash killing and then long-range suppression. But up close, you're basically uh, having to use the the uh, the dumb fire dump, the dumb fire rockets, which is what we call them when you don't lock on. And those move a lot slower than a tow rocket and are much harder to hit. So yeah, it, it, this mech is definitely not for up close. 
This, but like I said, the, the assault rifle really magnifies the uh, little sweet spot zone of mid range with the bruiser. So, and like I said, but the main weakness of this mech, no matter what you uh, weapon you're using, is the uh, is, is up close and personal. Even with the Vulcan, you know, uh, you're gonna be lacking a little bit up close. So always keep that in mind. And uh, I also remember mentioning that I said I was going to tell you a little something extra about the Hellfires, and that's called Hellfire Arcing. And what that is, is uh, you probably see me, like, you, you see me start to lock on, and then maybe you saw me randomly start to look up or to the side, and you're wondering, what the hell is he doing? See, what I'm actually doing is here is, like, uh, if it's, it's all in the timing, so if you lock on at the right moment, and you start to turn your camera, because what happens is the Hellfires will shoot completely straight, for a given amount of time, and then they'll start to curve toward their target. And so, what you can do is sometimes is uh, is I can is like while I'm falling, I can look up and shoot my hellfires over a hill and get a kill from, or uh, I can look to the side and shoot my hellfires out sideways and get a kill from behind, as I dash behind a wall. And that's what we call uh, arcing or hellfire. So you can see me do that right there, that that little motion right there. That's how you arc. Them. And you'll see, yeah, and it just it's kind of hard to explain, but you try to keep an eye out for when I do it. You'll see me start to lock on and then move my camera off to the side or up. And then that's how you do help by arcing. And all you really got to do to be able to do that is just get the timing down. Now, while you have this ability, uh, this ability to arc the Hellfire Rockets is much more of a defensive maneuver because, uh, well, it, it'll only go around a corner that's near you. If it's a corner that's far away, it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna magically all, loop all the way around. I mean, because the the way the Hellfires will track is like it only shoots completely straight from where you shoot for about one second, and after that, they'll just go straight towards your target. So it's good for if you're uh, retreating and you're gonna go right, and you're about to dash behind a wall. You can lock on just before you start to about uh, a second and a half before you're gonna dash behind the wall, and then once and by the time the lock on's completed, you'll probably have already dashed behind the wall, and you can already look to the side and just shoot the rockets out and around the corner and still hit the guy. It's it's definitely used much more defensively in that manner. Yeah, it's kind of hard to explain, but I'm sure you can probably go back to the video and try to and find examples of what I was talking about. You know. Like, uh, right here, actually, it was a good example, but I kind of missed. And uh, I did that on an upper platform, but... Yeah, it's, it's good if you're going to dash behind cover after you fire the rockets. And also, for dumb firing, you just got to learn uh, their projectile speed and uh, uh, how fast they go. You can see me dumb fire them right there into that scout. But yeah, as you can tell, it didn't do too much damage. A tow rocket would have probably done a little bit more. So, well, and as far as, like, piloting this mech, I think that's about all I can really tell you as far as the weapons and the piloting, so I'll just go over my items and internals really quickly, and of course my items have not changed. Still the shield, the hologram, the repair charge. Shield will save your life, you can use it for dueling, the repair charge will just give you more armor. Shield is great, uh, no, the hologram is great for distractions and uh, messing with people, especially if you dash behind a corner start to repair, it'll kind of mess them up a little bit. And then the internals, it, it's different from when I shot this video now, the internals I use right now are the basic deflectors, the evasive device, and the uh, air compressor. Yeah, because, and it's good on the bruiser because, like I said, the bruiser can fly pretty well, and so the air compressor will help you dodge inside the air so you can fly a little bit more. But remember, don't stay in the air too long because you want to conserve fuel. And just remember, heat is something you want to watch out for in the bruiser because you do not have weapons cooling. But, yeah. Uh, that's it for my bruiser video. I hope you guys liked it. You can like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more, but I guess I'll see you next time with my incinerator. Hobbs signing out.